So this bowl is ready to be trimmed. Um, I'm, the, before I do that, I'm going to use my clay knife to remove some of the excess clay on the side, on, in, underneath by pushing it down and out of the way. You can flip it over and get an even more precise wedge like that. The, the, the wedge needs to be big enough that you can get your fingertips under there. In the next segment, I'll show how to use um, a plastic bat for that. But that's, in a, that's, that's for another time. To get it removed from the wheel, I'm going to take the wire and loop it around my fingers and pull it taut and then pull straight through while the wheel's turning. And that's the way I can get separate it from the wheel head, like that. So I'm going to use my fingers, like a four square, to reach under that wedge that I've made, and then I can lift it off. Now, beginners usually have a hard time doing that. So we'll use, in the next segment, we'll use a uh, plastic uh, uh, mount called a bat. Right now, what I'd like to do is cut this open so you can see the, I, the contour I was telling you about. This is the profile you will want to have, a continuous curve from rim to rim. Later, this part will, be, will get trimmed. In our next segment, we're going to do the trimming step. But this needs to sit in the wet room for a day or two to get stiff enough for that step. So it's going to be a lot easier to get your bowl off the wheel head if you apply a plastic bat. Now I know it doesn't look like a bat, it's this square piece of plastic. For it, it has mounts on it that you have to put screws into. To do that, you have to remove the splash pan first because it, Otherwise, it's going to be in the way of putting the screws in. So the wing part is underneath. The bolt part comes down, and you tighten it up like that. Now I'm, now I'm going to um, throw, the, th throw a bowl without uh, um, dividing the steps centering, opening. Compressing. Collaring. Compressing again. Throwing. Pressing the rim again. Oh, I misplaced my rib. <laughs>